She died on December 29, 1815 of an undetermined inflammatory ailment, possibly smallpox, while other sources suggest she contracted syphilis, or pneumonia. A dissection was conducted, and published by French anatomist Henri-Marie de Crete de Blainville in 1816, and republished by French naturalist Georges Cuvier in the Memoirs du Muséum de Histoire Naturelle in 1817. Cuvier, who had met Bartman, notes in his monograph that its subject was an intelligent woman with an excellent memory, particularly for faces. In addition to her native tongue, she spoke fluent Dutch, passable English, and a smattering of French. He describes her shoulders and back as graceful, arms slender, hands and feet as charming and pretty. He adds she was adept at playing the Jew's harp could dance according to the traditions of her country, and had a lively personality. Despite this, he interpreted her remains, in accordance with his theories on racial evolution, as evidencing ape-like traits. He thought her small ears were similar to those of an orangutan and also compared her vivacity, when alive, to the quickness of a monkey. Her skeleton, preserved genitals and brain were placed on display in Paris Musée de l'Homme until 1974, when they were removed from public view and stored out of sight, a cast was still shown for the following two years. There were sporadic calls for the return of her remains, beginning in the 1940s. A poem written in 1978 by Diana Ferris, herself of Khoisan descent, entitled I've Come to Take You Home, played a pivotal role in spurring the movement to bring Bartman's remains back to her birth soil. The case gained worldwide prominence only after Stephen Jay Gould wrote The Mismeasure of Man in the 1980s. After the victory of the African National Congress in the South African general election, 1994, President Nelson Mandela formally requested that France return the remains. After much legal wrangling and debates in the French National Assembly, France acceded to the request on March 6, 2002. Her remains were repatriated to her homeland, the Gamtos Valley, on May 6, 2002 and they were buried on August 9, 2002 on Vergadringsko, a hill in the town of Hanke over 200 years after her birth.